Hi, I'm Dr. Jim Allen, Principal Archaeologist for Williams Self Associates. Welcome to Breaking the Canvas, the 300 Spear Street Project presented by the Museum of Underwater Archaeology. Looking at the remains of the Canvas, which is a 19th century whaling ship that sailed into San Francisco in the early 1850s, uh, returning from uh, an Arctic whaling voyage that it had just completed, and it was on its way back home to the East Coast. It was leaking badly when it arrived in San Francisco, so much so that the customs officer here condemned it and refused to let it leave the port. Uh, the ship was eventually acquired by Charles Hare, who brought it to his shipbreaking yard and started to uh, disassemble it, and for whatever reason stopped before the job was completely finished. The ship's significance uh, is its ability to tell a number of different stories about San Francisco and about that era. Uh, not only about the whaling industry of the 1850s and the early to mid 19th century, but also the fact that uh, San Francisco at the time was uh, a city that was just beginning to uh, develop its industrial uh, and commercial enterprises. Charles Hare being one of them, he acquired uh, numerous vessels that were abandoned during the gold rush and disassembled them, selling the parts to uh, various in industries in San Francisco. The wood went to the uh, foundries, the recyclable ship parts went to uh, the various uh, shipbuilding enterprises that were starting up in San Francisco at the time. So the ship has the ability to reflect both of those stories as well as the fact that the labor force that Charles Hare used was comprised mostly of Chinese fishermen who were excluded from every other economic enterprise in the city. This was very dirty, hard, low-paying work. It was probably the only work that Chinese laborers could get. And it benefited Hare because of the fact that he was able to pay them uh, probably much less than he would have to, had to have paid anyone else. So we have the whole story of the Chinese fishing enterprise, uh, the ability of the Chinese to work for or the willingness of the Chinese to work for far less than their uh, Anglo counterparts. Um, we have that whole concept and the idea of recycling as an industry, uh, at the time not nearly as sophisticated or uh, without, it, certainly at the time lacking the cachet that recycling has today. But at the time, uh, it was a viable enterprise that, uh, although it was looked down upon, was a necessary one within the city to uh, to uh, pr provide the raw materials of the industrial growth of the, of the city at that time.